welcome to Jacob Gaming and More Special Edition. Um, this is our first ever on location Who's That Pop um, Special Edition. So before we start the video, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you will get notified whenever we post new content. Uh, so I got a couple Funko Pops here in Lancaster and Pennsylvania. Um, so right now I'm in bird in hand, so I'll be reviewing um, five Funko Pops. So these are episodes five through nine, all in one video. Um, so first I'll start off with the one in the middle, Captain America, um, because I did tell you guys that I would be reviewing a Marvel Funko Pop in the next episode. So here we are, um, Captain America from Age of Ultron. Um, sadly, I couldn't bring the box because um, I'm in Pennsylvania right now, so I don't have the box with me. But once I am back at the studio, I will show you guys the box. Um, also, the two Funko Pops that I have on the left side of the screen, I got at Target. And the two on the right, I got at GameStop. And then Captain America, I got at the Wildwood Boardwalk. So let's review Captain America. Um, we don't have the box with him at the moment, so we'll do what we can, though. So if I get him right here, um, he has his classic, uh, shield, red, white, and blue, and then the star. Sorry that my hand's a little dirty, guys. Um, one little detail I like that they put in is that, like, underneath this helmet, they painted, like, a little hair here, because that's where his hair would be. And then they did a good job, like, um, they did a good architecture job on his suit. And he has a nice, cool, um, pose. And then, as all the Marvel Funko Pops do, his head bobbles. And on the back, you got his little strap there where his shield would go. And then, yeah, that's Captain America, guys. Um, let's move on to our next pop. Okay, guys, um, for the next pop, we're going to start off on the left with the Target exclusive. Uh, with the two Target exclusives, I think that you can actually also get them at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Walt Disney World in Florida or Disneyland in California because there's a little Star Wars thing there. So, uh, yeah. One thing you do want to watch out for on this pop, though, it has an antenna, so you want to be careful with it. Uh, we're going to take this out of the box right now. Uh, we have, of course, some buggy coming by, so if you look in the background, you'll see that in a couple seconds. take it out of the box thing is a thing's tough okay we got it out of the box uh here it is m5 r3 the box is actually pretty cool so here it is take them out right now ah. okay so we got him here we have a little antenna there as i said they um put it some like paint trip marks like where paint was right here and here his eyes are green that looks pretty cool actually almost reminds me of a christmas funko pop it's red and green as uh you know christmas is coming up soon so i'll probably have a couple pops to review around then on the back it's mostly black and red just got some like little hatches there do a really good job on like the ripples and stuff. So yeah, that is M5R3. Pretty cool pop. So let's move on to the next pop. Uh, the next pop that we will be reviewing is our um, other Target exclusive, CB6B. He is on the left right now. Um, so yeah, let's get right into that. One minute, 37 seconds okay, later. Here we got another Target exclusive, um, CB6B. Same exact box as the last pop that we just opened. <laughs> Has a little Star Wars Galaxy's Edge um, stamp there. Uh, 
Uh, so I'm gonna open this one up right now. And then after this, we'll move on to our two GameStop Funko Pops that I picked up there. Ugh. So is these Target exclusive ones are sealed tight. Okay, I got out the box. So again, here's the box again. If you guys didn't see it. Okay, so here is CB6. Um, actually, I'm here with DMS underscore Doggo, and she got the same pop as me, too. One thing I noticed is that, um, on the top here, that's his little eye there. Like how old Funko Pops is that classic circle black eye. Um, got some nice colors here, orange and white. Um, this looks a lot like a droid that you can build at the Droid Depot at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. You could probably build something that looks exactly like this. Um, so yeah, this reminds me a lot of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Um, sadly, I haven't gotten to see Star Wars Galaxy's Edge yet, but I'm really excited to. So hopefully I'll get to see that one day. Here he is. Also, again, you, he has an antenna, so you want to watch out for that and be careful of it. Also, none of these, like, the two droid pops... I open their heads don't really bobble as well as normal pops. But yeah, that is um, this pop, C CB6B. So yeah, let's move on to the next two pops that I picked up at GameStop. Okay, so now we will be uh, looking at our last Star Wars Funko Pop. Um, for Star Wars fans that are watching this video, this was definitely your video. Um, got a lot of Star Wars pops, so I'm gonna get Zori out right here from the Rise of Skywalker. This is actually our only Rise of Skywalker pop from this episode. Um, we got it for five dollars at GameStop in the clearance area, so that was a steal. I mean, it's pretty. It's a pretty cheap pop. Uh, you can get it for a low amount of money. Okay, so let's bring her out. Okay, I'll take her out. But one more thing, here are the, some of the other Rise of Skywalker pops that you can get. So, again, here's Zori. I'll take her out right now. I got a couple wood chips in the box, but I just got them out. Uh, sorry, guys. Okay, so um, here is Zori, guys. Um, one thing that was really cool and weird at the same time, uh, since Zori's wearing a helmet, she doesn't have any eyes. So if you go to feel the head, you don't feel like, it doesn't really feel like a face. But it's a pretty cool pop. I like it. Um, on the back, they did a really good job detailing the back here. Got some, like, the controls and stuff. Tiny antenna there. Got a lot of the wires and stuff. They did a good job with that. Uh, her body, um, is pink and gold, mostly. One thing, I don't know if, like, it might be a little fragile. Uh, don't want to test it out, though. Um, I think the guns or the blasters that she has on the side, um, I think those could be a little fragile. If you, like, pull them, they might come off. So, yeah, that is Zori Blizz, guys. Um, now let's move on to our last Funko Pop. Uh, Ian Lightfoot from uh, the new Disney movie, the new Disney Pixar movie, Onward. Okay, guys, now we are on to our last Funko Pop of this special edition of Who's That Pop? First ever on location, Who's That Pop? in Lancaster County in Pennsylvania Dutch country. Um, so we got Ian Lightfoot from uh, the pretty new uh, Disney Pixar movie, Onward. This movie was actually pretty good. I watched it couple times um i picked up this pop at gamestop it was like one of the first pops i saw there um i've been wanting to get this one for a while now so finally got it so here he is um here are a couple other of the funko pops that you can get from onward you got um bartley the manticore and um their dad right there 
Um, and then there's this one other rare Funko Pop, uh, a uh, unicorn that is not shown on the back of the box. So yeah, I'm gonna take Ian out like, right now because there's a couple things I can show with him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's take him out of the box right now. Here's the box again. Oh, wow. Okay, so, um, let me just get this one other thing out of the box and then we'll be all good. Okay, got that. Okay, so one thing that Ian does come with um, is a little platform that you can put him on. I'm pretty sure the Babe Ruth Funko Pop comes with this too. Um, here's Ian. He stands pretty good without the platform, but I suggest using the platform with him. Uh, there's his wand that has the phoenix gem in it right there. Um, you can um, definitely um, break the wand if you pull it because it, it shakes a little, so it could be a little fragile. But yeah, I like how they made the um, blue face and the nose. They did a really good job sculpting on this Funko Pop. Uh, did a lot of good color jobs too gray and white shoes and then got the ears and blue hair and then the wand red shirt and then uh, I'll put him on the platform right now for you guys uh, and I'm on the platform right now for you guys okay so here he is on the platform right there so well he didn't stand there good because we're on a tilted surface right now, so I'll just hold him, I guess. So here he is, guys. That's Ian from Onward. So, yeah. Okay, guys, that will wrap up our first ever special edition of Who's That Pop? Episodes 5 through 9. Um, thanks for watching, guys. This is our first ever on-location Who's That Pop? So, from Lancaster County in Pennsylvania, from Bird in Hand, stay safe, guys. Drop a like, and so long now.